apart from the dodgy service in the house. Okay, so I can't help that much. We got some issues going on around here lately. Service is like in and out and it sucks. So I apologize, but I'm gonna get down to this. So here's the deal. I copied my post from back in April when that race took place. And holy crap, did I piss off Texas. I'm fine with it. I really didn't expect to get um, called all the names I got called by Birdman, but hey, it's okay. I know how he really feels. I'm fine with it. So, as you guys watch the show, from the very beginning, everybody was dead set positive. They had tested their butt off and they were going to get down that road. Right, so. I need to back up before I get to the race. You guys need to understand one thing from the very, very beginning. This race got postponed a couple of times due to the weather and some logistics issues. We were supposed to be racing in Texas. Don't know what happened with that road, but it didn't work out. So we went to a neutral road that none of us had ever been on. Yes, there were black marks on that road. Yes, people race on that road. They moved our starting line to where it was a virgin road. There was literally nothing there. If you wanna argue with that, then go back and look at the first race and you will see there was nothing there. Now, this race actually got postponed from Friday and Saturday to Saturday and Sunday and then Sunday and Monday. Okay, some of these racers are coming from, well, Birdman lives in Houston. So some of them have a long ways to drive. Just so you guys know, that place that we raced at is three hours and 45 minutes from my house. So it was nowhere near 20, 30 minutes or even an hour from me. So I had not quite as far, but pretty close to as far as a lot of the Texas guys. In fact, Shane with the Vega, uh, it's another hour for him at least. No, it's further than that because he's four hours from my house. Anyway. So, everyone was dead set positive. They were getting down that road. They had tested on everything like that. I made a comment in the driver's meeting, where the hell is Barefoot Ronnie? And I don't know, I don't remember which one of them, but one of them piped up, we brought the fast cars. Well, this is where it is street. I would have put a thousand dollars cash on Ronnie Pace against every one of them there first round, period. He may not be as fast as they are at a no prep or a really good track, but he knows how to get down a street. And he also knows how to turn the power down to get down a street. So yeah, I would have put a thousand bucks on him against every one of the Texas guys first round, hands down. And I'd actually cleaned house because he would have went down that road and they wouldn't have. Now, where I really pissed them off was, well, okay, look, they bailed, right? They bailed. They literally went out and lost on Sunday night. They slept in a parking lot and they hauled ass. They didn't stick around. Now, yes, Cody Baker brought his own crew. He had two guys with him that are legit. They stuck with him and didn't go nowhere. They, they kind of had to, they rode with him. But the Texas guys completely missed my point in the team Texas, okay? And this is what I'm getting to. If I have the parts in my trailer and you need the parts, and we're out of track, they're yours. I've gave nitrous solenoids to guys. I've gave crank sensors to guys. I don't get them back, I don't care. That's just, that's part of racing. But when we are in a cash days, that is Texas versus Oklahoma. I don't care if you're my brother-in-law that lives in Texas. 
if we're at cash days and you've got a broken part and I own it, you're not getting it. That's not how it works. I don't care how much I like you. It's Texas versus Oklahoma. If I have the parts, I don't have the parts. Not today. Any day other than today, I got the parts. But today, no, don't have them. So, my point and my whole aggravation and the rant that I posted was very simple. Let's say Cody Baker literally loses the mag on his car. Hang on. I can't. What are you saying? Oh, yeah? All right, so listen, who was that? Ron. All right, so we got a guy on here. His name is Ron. I'm sorry I'm in the middle of talking and I didn't catch the comments down below, but we got a guy in here. His name is Ron. He wants a hell yeah for the NYPD. You got it, man. Hell yeah. Thank you for doing what you do. Yeah, we do some dumb shit and I apologize, but you know what? We're not robbing people. We're not knocking over liquor stores. So yeah, we do some dumb shit and it gets in the way, but thanks for doing what you do. So back to what I was saying. If Cody Baker loses a mag in his car, there wasn't nobody there to give him one. If Cody Baker broke a valve in a Hemi head, there was only one guy there that had a Hemi. You could have pulled the head off that Hemi and swapped one head and he could have finished the race. Now, coulda, woulda, shoulda. strut and a wheel one of the Texas guys I promise you one of them stuff would have had exactly what he needed but none of the Oklahoma guys are gonna give it to him you know why because it's 405 versus Texas now that's the team part that really pissed me off you don't leave the one guy there by himself now had he have made it to the finals but clipped a curb in the semis and won, but crashed shutting down, then he'd have been shit out of luck. And the guy that was racing him in the final would have actually won on a default because he couldn't actually complete the race. That's what got me. It's not that they bailed and left him because yeah, he had help, he don't need you. He don't need a cheerleader. That wasn't what it was about. It was about literally being there and backing your people and having parts in case they need them so that they can make it to the final. That was what it was all about. Now, I'm gonna say this. Yes, they're all fast. Every one of them are fast. Every single one of them. That's why we race in the street. Because just because you can crank a 390 at the track, don't mean you're going to do it on the street. That's just the way it is. So I hope that uh, everyone realizes that this was not personal in the aspect of, well, it was. It was, it was a personal jab because I didn't like the way they treated the guy. Now, there's a lot of people that race in the street that I didn't see there. I don't know who picked the crew. I don't care. The truth is they picked a bunch of their friends or track racers that go fast. It was Barefoot Ronnie. Now I happen to know where Barefoot Ronnie was and I don't think I wanna get into that. 
the point is he was outed. In fact, well, he had to technically go race at a track against another guy to figure out which one was faster to determine whether or not he could race in the street. Again, not the way it should be. But that's not what this was about. This was quite simply to help boost the understanding for Texas, okay? So I'm gonna lay this out real quick. This is very, very simple. And I hope that you guys can understand. Uh, sorry, this is gonna take me just a second. But I really, really hope that this makes the, com the competition between us and Texas better next time. Now I can promise you, you mark my words, I'm gonna end up racing some of those guys at the no preps and they're gonna jump for joy when they kick my ass, if they kick my ass, and that's fine. That's what it's all about. But I got a few simple words that's gonna pretty much line it all out. Hang on just a second. So here's the deal. <clears throat> In case you can't hear me, see me. There is no I in team, okay? Yep, it's dumb, but in case you didn't get it, there is no I in team. Now, the next time you show up here, or we show up down there, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a whole lot of Team 405 backing each other up. Wait a second, I gotta back up because I forgot one thing. It was brought to my attention that the only reason I was there was because I was getting paid. I wasn't racing people. I showed up to support the people that I run with because that's what we do. I will show up and I will pour juice, I will turn wrenches, I will do whatever it takes with the people that I'm racing with because that's what we do. That's why we kick everybody's ass everywhere we go as a group, as a whole, because we have each other's back. Think about the next time, bring all the people that are actually gonna have your back and I'm gonna back up one more time. For the guys that bailed, I got into an argument with a couple of them's help last time when I posted this, and it was because they had to get to work, okay? You cannot tell me that this race was a Sunday Monday and you were gonna win Sunday night, show up Monday and say, ah, I only got until about 8.30 tonight and then I gotta bail because I gotta be at work in the morning. No, that wasn't the case. You took off work. Now, I am going to apologize because I do understand not everybody has the ability to take off work and get paid for it. And if you have the ability to haul ass back home and go to work, I get it. But I got one question for all those that were bashing the shit out of me for that. Did you go to work? Or did you stay home and sleep? That's what I want. Now, to all the racers that were there, it ain't hate, it's not what it is. Birdman can cuss me all he wants. I was a worm, just so you know. He kind of liked me once and now I'm a worm. I'm okay with that too. I'll still help him break, if, I'll still help him if he breaks his shit. Unless he's racing one of the 405 guys and then probably not. But, next time, think about your people when you're there and actually stick around and have their back. Because even if you broke a rocker arm, he didn't have none. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. If he torched a head, there was a head there on another guy's car from Texas. If he broke a mag, there was a mag there on another guy's car from Texas. My car was there in case somebody brought extra stuff, but I wasn't giving it to none of the Texans. That's just the way it is. It's just a cash days thing. It's nothing personal. Anyway, in case you missed it, there is no I in team. See you guys later.